And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Biscuit. Biscuit is ranked 86th in his Platinum Division, Hierarch Hawk. He has 340 points, 16 wins, and 13 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the West up against Biscuit. He is the Red Protoss player in the south and once again it's another Terran versus Protoss. I've been getting a lot of them lately. Oh, I remember this one now. Good luck, have fun. Insulted! So, yeah, this guy was a lot of fun. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, fine. No luck for you, Dan. Ha! I'm a smart ass. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, I honestly love guys like this. You know, he's obviously being sarcastic or, um, you know, playful, I should say. I don't know if sarcastic is technically the right word for it. Um, I'm always confused with sarcasm, actually. Uh, people say I'm sarcastic. Other people say I'm the exact opposite of sarcastic. I, I get confused sometimes. Uh, for, they always say sarcasm means mean. Um, you know, like, ugh, nice dress. Like, that's sarcastic. Even though you mean it's a really bad dress. But I don't like saying it like that. I don't know. Because it comes across as mean. So I, if, I don't know, if somebody, if a girl walked in and I thought her dress was not up to code or whatever, I'd be like, uh, so, uh, dress yourself in the dark today? I don't, it's, it's, that's not like sarcastic, but it, you know. Honestly, if a girl walked in with a bad dress, I probably wouldn't say a damn thing. You know, I know better than that. But, you know, I'd say something along those lines instead of just flat out the opposite of what I'm trying to say. I'd, you know, I'd hit around at it. So I don't know if it's considered sarcastic, and I think that's what this guy was going for. That was quite a tangent I went on there, wasn't it? So I am going for the fast um, refinery in the barracks here. A uh, relatively fast refinery. It's up about the same time as my barracks, uh, which is pretty much standard for a three racks or a very bad two racks expand like I did last game, but it worked out very well, so I might have to tweak that, work on it some more like I did that Banshee build, and uh, we'll see if we can get it to work. Um, it worked very well last time, so why not let it work this time? So I'm chasing this probe down. I hate when probes are inside my base. And, oh, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The Marine loses sight of the probe because the probe is a little bit faster, 2.81 to 2.25. And he comes down, and he builds a proxy pylon in the back of my base. This is the perfect map for that. Even better than Scrap Station, I would say. Uh, Lost Temple, if you can get it done. Uh, the only problem is getting into the guy's base without him being fully aware of it. Even though I was fully aware of him being in my base, I did not spot the corner there as I should have. Go everywhere that the probe may have been. Meanwhile, Biscuit is going for t pretty standard here. He does have his second gateway on the way. So we should be seeing some gateway units out of him. Logic. Three racks is up for me. It does not look like I'm going for the two racks expand this game. I did go for that last game. I, um, I did mention that, but I don't think I mentioned what game it was from. It was last game that I broadcast. If you guys did not see that, I would recommend it. Different strategy is always more entertaining than the same old, same old that it seems like I'm going for here. But it does look like there we do have something relatively interesting here. This guy right here. It's shiny. And here's where I notice it. Thank you once again to Bubba, who told me to build the, the supply depots around my base. If it wasn't for that, I probably would not have spotted this pylon ever. What I used to do, and I admit now looking back, it was very stupid. Uh, just a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supply depots, just like right here, for no reason. But what's this? What do we have here? We've got a second proxy pylon at the Zelnaga Tower with a robotics facility being, <laughs> being built there. I have never seen this before. He does have three gate up. Warp gate technology is finished, so they are changing right now. 
finish up the proxy pylon inside my base. I don't know about the one at the Zalmanga Tower right now. Twilight Council is coming up too. What's your guess? You wanna know what mine is? I'm not thinking blink stalkers or, or charged zealots anymore. Now that I am a little bit more familiar with the Protoss tech tree, I am thinking Dark Shrine is coming next. But do I click it? Do I click it? Oh, that was a wasted scan because I did not even bother clicking on the Twilight Council. Did not look at it. Ah, oh, just, just bad. Uh, what happens a lot is that I will scan and then keep trying to do what I was trying to do and then by the time I look back, it was finished. So I'm moving in here and I'm spotting everything that's going on and I'm gonna take out... Yeah, no! The Observer does come out, but the, uh, why would you build a robotics facility there for for an Observer? And now he's supply locked. Um, the Observer does come out. It will definitely wipe out my army if, I, if it can get in position. Uh, yeah, now, see, that's sarcasm. And what's he got going on? Just more pylons and his expansion. Now is the worst time to expand. Um, you need those minerals uh, for stalkers, for sentries, for s zealots, especially zealots. Uh, you need to, to go and do that now. I am going for my expansion. Now's the perfect time for me to expand. Uh, blink stalkers are on the way, so no, we are not going to be seeing dark templars, it looks like. Instead, we are going to be seeing me absolutely destroy this expansion. But yeah, looks like I'm continuing to produce here. Um, doing a decent job in uh, mineral management right now. 200 is pretty much where I want to be at. It would always be better if I could get that lower, but 200 is where I'll settle right now. Taking out the pylon there. Stimming up, his uh, stalkers run away, so I just take out the pylon here, and boom, two pylons, six buildings. That is why I do it. And as you can see, he's supply locked and he cannot produce, even though he has the minerals and gas for it. Doing a little bit of micro on those probes. Going for more pylons. E God, man! And he leaves the game. No GG. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I don't mind. This guy was awesome. Um, I don't know how you can be awesome in three lines, but insulted, gasp, and he gad. That was all he gave me. Yeah, I love this guy. Oh, man. I love humor. I don't know if you guys knew that. But this was uh, definitely a strategy I've never seen before and one I would not recommend. Uh, Proxy Palin. Uh, I'd recommend it. It's risky, uh, but if you can get away with it, it works wonders for you. Uh, proxy prime line here does work. I've never seen, I don't know if I've seen both at the same time. And then the robotics facility here was very strange, and I do not recommend a robotics facility there. If you were going to do it, though, get attacking units out of it. Don't get an observer out of it. The observer's not going to be able to help you at all, and especially on a map where we're this close together. You know, look, I can see... Oh, uh, I use... I can almost see it. I can see, look, there's my supply depot. There's his gateway. Why can't the observer go this way instead of this way? You guys know what I mean? It's not going to save him any time. Uh, different, different strategy, did not work for him, that's, you know, he's still pretty new to the game, he had a very low record, did well in his placement matches, got it all the way up to platinum, but then it doesn't look like he's been doing that well ever since then. Uh, but I hope him the best, love the guy, um, hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.